Okay, guys. This is like the third video on this. I need to start from scratch. A lot of times I make these videos and just run through all this stuff, and uh, I'm just assuming everyone knows what I'm talking about and what I'm doing and everything like that. And so I'm going to slow down a little bit and kind of explain it a little bit easier, I guess. Um, what I have here is uh, grid tie inverters that you get off of eBay. They're made in China. You can just plug them into your house. They're not the inverters that you see for like plugging in your van or something like that and hooking up a TV set on the road or something like that and changing uh, DC to AC in your van. It's not the same type of inverter. This inverter takes DC in, but a little bit higher voltage DC, and takes it out like on a computer style type plug. And you just run that cord directly into an outlet. I have it running into the side of the pull pump here. So it's feeding the power back into the house. Basically, it feeds it down to the power box. And but it, what it does is it senses the voltage that it at the power box. Say it's 120 volts, and it'll bump it up to like 122, 123. So when it goes back into the power box, it knows to take the power from the higher voltage first. If something in your house is running, or your pull pumps on, it's going to suck up all the power out of this first before it gets the power from the street if that makes sense. So it puts it back in a few volts higher. These things nowadays, I bought these probably a couple years ago. Nowadays, they, I think they're probably about 85, 100 bucks or something like that, maybe 120 bucks for these things. I usually get mine from using God's Free Energy. It's a guy who sells on, uh, I think he has his own website too, he sells on eBay. But he's the only person I've ever dealt with and he's very good customer service. A little plug-in for him. So. And what I did is after I I got four solar panels on the roof here that are plugged into four inverters. Basically they're all sharing. And I added a cooling fan here to help cool these things. And what it does is it I run them into this, this kilowatt meter. It's actually running it backwards. This is the power that's going into the house. These meters are read both ways. You can hook these things up in your house to read how much your refrigerator is drawing. All it is measuring is amperage back and forth. So this thing is also, like I said, I'm feeding it backwards. The inverters are going into the front of this, and the power is coming out the back, which is right here, into this extension cord, and going back to the circuit breaker to the house. So that's how I'm running the uh, pull pump here. And when the pull pump's not on, the excess power that's made from these it's sent back to the house which is running like ceiling fans and little stuff in the house like that so it's not being wasted it's actually uh, being used Let's see if I can get here um, so far I've made 54,000 watts I think it's been on a week, week and a half, two weeks maybe so 54,000 watts and if you consider your home air conditioner draws 3,000 watts you can divide that into that and figure out how many hours you basically could have ran your home air conditioner. So that adds up quite a bit. So these things are working out. So if you have any questions, I hope this helped uh, clarify some of the answers on these grid ties. Some of them were thinking they're regular inverters from your house and stuff like that, and where do you get them? And like I said, they're very simple to wire up. Just a positive negative from your solar panels. Just run your computer type cord, plug it into your outlet, or you can plug it into here to see how much you're making and run that to your house. And that's how you uh, make free electricity all day long. Hope that clarifies your stuff. Any questions, uh, let me know.